Hello there, that's a mirror but it's kind of a good background because ahead of me is my uh, Blu-ray collection. So, we're doing blockbuster previews, all of them in 4K Blu-ray. Um, last week I did, I say last week, I recorded it yesterday and it's like in the middle of May because I'm going on holiday end of May, so I'm recording these ahead. But <laughs> uh, I watched F9 um, in preview to Fast X, now I'm watching Into the Spider-Verse in preview to Across the Spider-Verse, who would have thought it? Next week's going to be Man of Steel, um, which is in preview to The Flash, which is a bit weird, but The Flash trailers include an alternate universe version of it with Supergirl and Zod still there. Um, so I thought Man of Steel be quite fun. It's a good movie as well to watch. And uh, after that, a Transformers movie in preview to Rise of the Beasts. I'll leave you to guess which Transformers movie it is. <laughs> I, I, I can't speak. I can't speak fast. But anyway, I've collected a lot of 4K Blu-rays. I got some regular Blu-rays as well, and I think one DVD. But I love 4K. I got an LG 4K TV and a 4K LG Blu-ray player, and it's got everything. You know, it's got it's OLED. It's got Dolby Vision, Atmos, um, HDR. I missed something as well. I missed something as well. But like all those cool little things that 4K TVs can have. My one's got all of them, and my 4K Blu-ray player's got all of them as well. So I, just, I love 4K because it looks so good when it's done right. It doesn't always look good though. Sometimes it just looks only a little bit better, or just doesn't look better than the Blu-ray, and that's just a waste because they're like 25 pounds each, and it's not cheap. And it should be cheaper to be honest. But um, you know, not every 4K movie is worth buying because the quality isn't always good enough. But Into the Spider-Verse today, well. It's made by Sony. And if you didn't know, Sony are the kings of the 4K transfer. They are the best at producing 4K discs. So, uh, you know, I, I'm, I know I'm in good hands. I've already seen it anyway in 4K. I've seen, I've got it. Um, but it was a while ago. I think the last time I saw it was actually on my computer. The point is, when 4K is done properly, it looks so much better and it sounds amazing as well. And Sony, you're pretty much always guaranteed for it to be that good. So uh, yeah, I just thought I'd mention it. I know it's not about the 4K, it's about previewing across the Spider-Verse, but I thought I'd do that in the intro. But yeah, Into the Spider-Verse, love the movie, one of the best comic book movies ever. Like, it was such a great storyline, good characters, the animation style was great. And introduced a new Spider-Man, Miles Morales. Obviously he's been, a, been there a while in the comics, but like, on the screen we've only seen Peter Parker. And we still haven't seen Miles Morales in, real, in live action yet, and I'm sure we'll get him soon. Uh, but it was cool, it was refreshing to see him as the main character. But you still got Peter Parker, you still got like two versions of him at least. And you got all the other ones, Peter Parker, <laughs> Gwen Stacy, you got all these characters in this crazy multiverse storyline. And uh, they made it work so well with a unique and beautiful animation style. So I cannot wait to rewatch this. And I cannot wait to watch Across the Spider-Verse, which... I'm pretty sure it ends on a cliffhanger because it's actually a two-parter, so uh, I'm looking forward to it though, you know, this is great, you know, we're getting something amazing, it feels like a comic book brought to life, the animation is that good. I used to organise this all the time, I need to start organising it again, but I used to organise it and some of it is somewhat like, there's all the kid stuff is there, animated stuff, um, but superhero stuff, I put it all in the same area. So here we are, <laughs> there's Infinity Saga, so I know, I just know there's the Batman section, I know I got a Spider-Man section as well. Here it is, all in 4K. Here we go, I need to clean this, I know, I've not used this in a while actually. <laughs> I only recorded the airplane episode last night. But yeah, here we go, bloody awesome movie. Let's rewatch it. I forgot how much I loved Spider-Noir. Nicolas Cage was a perfect casting for him. A black and white Spider-Man. The wind follows him. I love his whole origin story that he gives you. He exists in 1933 in his universe and he fights Nazis. That could probably be a good live action movie actually. A black and white Spider-Man movie in the 1930s where he fights Nazis. That would actually be a good movie. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that would be a good movie. Also, this movie has incredible music. Soundtrack wise is amazing, both the score and the themes, but also the songs they put throughout. It's almost as good as the Guardians movies. <laughs> the Guardians, I think, take the cake in terms of like superhero music, but I am mainly talking about the way they mix, you know, like pop songs, popular songs with the score of the movie. Um, but if like, I, I much prefer the, the score of The Dark Knight, for example. But I'm talking about in terms of like mixing a score with 
real life popular music it just fits so well into this movie it's so good uh, this one black panther there's another one guardians all the guardians ones they have their own uh, great style it's time for the what's up danger scene best scene in the movie it was so good oh yeah and that black suit so good <laughs> so well designed this whole animation is just incredible <laughs> it really is completely forgot about spider pigs looney tunes reference that was so cleverly done <laughs> so, so clever just on the borderline of getting sued for copyright an amazing movie man it's a nine out of ten it didn't feel like two hours it just it felt like half that it's so much fun and i do remember there's an after credit scene which is a reference to the pointing meme that was done really well as well but yeah it's a nine out of ten it's so good and i cannot wait for the next one this is your boy davidoff please like share subscribe thanks for watching have a good day and see ya. let's take it slow where you go i go to and if you hit the bottom, I'm going down with you Let's take it slow Who cares where we gotta be? You know you'll have a good time wherever you're with me Let's take it